One Nation. Thank you for joining us on Zanis News. With the news, my name is Faith Katai. The headlines. European Fame donates 1 million United States dollars to Zambia. RDA mends Maguero Road. Plus, Ushi Chief calls for mechanization in the agriculture sector. Zanis News in detail. A European-based firm has given Zambia $1 million to complement President Hagaende Hichilema's vision of drilling boreholes across the country. Finance and National Planning Minister Stumbe Komusokotwane has confirmed the development in an exclusive interview with Zanis, indicating that the funds will be made available soon. This was after the minister held closed-door meetings with officials from the organization in Davos, Switzerland. In other news, the church has donated an assortment of items to the fight against the cholera outbreak. And speaking at a handover church service held at National House of Prayer, advocates for the declaration of Zambia as a Christian nation, chairperson Bishop Billingfula, said the church is a vital partner of government, hence the move to offer support to the fight against the cholera outbreak. Laxon Makosa has the rest of the story. The church has come on board by rendering support to government in the fight against Corella through a donation of an assortment of items. The donated items were presented to Disaster Management and Mitigation Unit, DMMU, at a church service held at the National House of Prayer. The event was characterized by prayers and singing. Advocates for the declaration of Zambia as a Christian nation chairperson, Bishop Billingfula says the donation is part of the response from the church aimed at heightening efforts to keep the cholera epidemic. As we work with government to fight what we fight, if we will end at donating, we have, we have reduced ourselves to become like everybody else. Because we, we can do more than that. And handle stuff that chlorine cannot disinfect. In receiving the donation, DMMU Acting Director for Operations commended the church for supplementing government's effort in mitigating the further spread of Corella. Your generosity will enable us to provide safe and clean water to the communities that have been affected and also to prevent further spread of the disease as witnessed by the provision of the different hygiene uh, products that, are, that you have donated. The church has since pledged to continue rendering spiritual support to the families affected by Corella and also pray for the nation to foster hope. For Zanis, I'm Laxon Makodza. In Western Province, sorry, in Northwestern Province, Trident Mine, in partnership with the local authority and the community in Kalumbila district, has taken up the responsibility of ensuring that public places such as markets are kept clean to prevent cholera. Officiating at the launch of the Keep Kalumbila Town Clean and Green Campaign exercise, Council Chairperson Shadrek Munjinga encouraged residents to maintain good hygiene practices. Here is a report. Trident Mine, in partnership with the local authority and other stakeholders, have launched the Keep Kalumbila Clean and Green exercise to prevent the spread of cholera. Kalumbila Town Development Corporation Manager Matthews Kabungo says they want to turn Kalumbila into a clean and green urban environment. As Kalumbila, we've taken it upon ourselves and taken a leave from the government uh, Keep Zambia clean and localized it into keep Kalumbila clean. As much as most of our residents here have access to clean water and sanitation, we still have a need for mind change in terms of management of waste, which poses unique risks as well. So with that background, we invited partnership with the Kalumbira Town Council who have been supportive of us that we demonstrate that not only access to clean water and sanitation is vital but also mind change in management of waste for the for the residents is required. Kalumbira Town Council Chairperson Shadrick Monjonga 
encourages people in communities to make good hygiene a lifestyle. Every one of us should take up this challenge to make a difference in our homes, workplaces, and communities by making sure that the environment we work and live in is always clean. Kalumbira should remain healthy. Kalumbira should remain a peaceful district. We don't want those issues of cholera in Kalumbira. And marketeers have these concerns. A Mazulu reporting for Zenith News in Kalumbila District, Northwestern Province. The National Union of Public and Private Educators of Zambia, NUPES, has called on the local authorities and the Ministry of Education to conduct thorough inspections of schools before they open for the first term in 2024. NUPES General Secretary Charit Kampamba says it is important to inspect the schools to check on how prepared they are to open on January 29th, 2020. For. She says it is the mandate of the union to ensure that all necessary measures are put in place for the safety of the children in schools amidst the cholera outbreak. Zanis reports that Ms. Kampamba was speaking when she addressed journalists at Lusaka City Council where she stressed the need for concerted efforts from all stakeholders to ensure that the cholera epidemic is contained in the country. Ms. Kampamba further advised the, the community to join the fight against cholera by maintaining good hygiene at all times and adhering to the Ministry of Health cholera prevention guidelines. This fight is not for one person. It should not only be left to government, but also ourselves to come on board and help in order to help the learners as well as our teachers. Are you, are you overseeing a situation where schools will be open on the 29th? Well, we can't predict, if anything, what will determine are the numbers and the rise of the cases. The moment these numbers will get down, I'm sure we as a union will be very happy. And to this extent, possibly, I would even bring in on board the local government and, of course, health to go around in these schools to conduct inspections. Those schools that will not adhere to our guidelines, then they'll be told to ward, not until everything is put in place. Because so far, life is more than important. We take our first break. We have construction news on the other side. Stay tuned. Kodi kole landi chani. Kole landi matenda otulula. Munda mena dola matenda ya kole da amatulula kuambiri ndi kusanza. Dotira keli makalanga ti mazi mumwa tsukira mpunga. Ndipo munda wa dola kole da mazi mtupira ke amata gamba kuti ya machoka kuambiri kupiole na mkusanza ndi kutulula kuambiri. Mtuwa dola la kolera, anga mwalire maula kumi ndia wili kaya kuti 12 hours, ngati sana landire mwamsanga tandizo la mankwala. Kode mtu, anga tengile mota ni matenda kolera. Kumwa maze ya doti, kudia za kudia, ndi manja mosa samba mwa doti, kapena kukuli sanchido mbali zotsuki wa ndi maze ya doti. Kudia za kudia, zimene zinango si wa mosa samala bosa bunikida. Kudia za kudia, zo zizira, za shimbala, zimene si bwino. Kudia za kudia zimene ama gulita mpebete mwa miseu. Kudia zipatu ndi ndiwa za masamba zo satsuka. Kodiko lela inga chinjiri ziwe? Gadu sani mazi anu wakumwa kapena kukulita nchito klorini. Samba ni manja, ndi mazi au kondo ndi sopo mkamaliza kukulita nchito shimbuzi. Fundi tani za kudia mkwalebe kuyamba kudia. Osadia za kudia zimene zima gulitiwa mpebete mwa miseu. Mwene la kubwini kila za kudia kuwapeta uti nchia nchia zinga kakeko. Ntawe zonse, mwene la kugulita nchito shimbuzi. Pewane kugulita nchito machemba kapena maplastiki ngati shimbuzi. Onani kutidoti ilitaiwa mchimbuzi. Ntawe zonse, onani kutizimbuzi zikala za ukondo. Ndipo ntawe zonse, bambo wa shimbuzi chanu pazikala po bwini kila gunobwino. Okubwene sanu utenga uyu ndi au nduna waza umoyo. We continue with the news. Government says the increase in constituency development fund allocations has enabled communities to undertake various developmental projects in their respective areas. Kasama District Commissioner Elizabeth Goma, who commissioned four CDF projects in the district, says the delivery of these projects speaks volumes about government's 
decentralization agenda. Here is a report. The Enhanced Constituents Development Fund, CDF, is helping to ease the delivery of services in communities. This can be seen from several infrastructures that government has constructed in communities using CDF. In Kasama District, government has handed over four projects that were constructed using the 2022 CDF allocation. Kasama District Commissioner Elizabeth Goma commissioned the projects. The completed and ongoing CDF projects speak volumes of the UPND government's decentralization policy intervention. The increased CDF scope and financial allocation has also given power to the community through WDCs to identify more projects to be implemented while facilitating job creation at community level. The new Don government under the able leadership of His Excellency, Mr. Kainde Chilema, has made it a priority for all citizens to have access to basic facilities such as these projects we are handing over today. Kasama Mayor Teresa Kolala warned people against vandalizing public infrastructure. The scope of works uh, are very, very good and uh, we are very happy that uh, we have uh, our own uh, contractors that are capable of uh, putting up a structure like this one. But I would like to urge you to make sure that you observe the completion period. Beneficiaries of the projects could not hide their excitement. We are an upgraded school with an enrollment of over 1,000 learners. A 1 by 3 CDF classroom block erected here will help us scrub over enrollment. In addition to this, the school is in need of desks so as to meet educational standards. <laughs> Reporting for Zanis in Kasama, I'm Javet Mungondia. In Eastern Province, the Road Development Agency in Chipata has commenced works on part of the Maguero Road that was washed away by heavy rains last week. And Chipata Central Constituency Member of Parliament, Mutoro Piri, has commended RDA for its prompt response. Details in the following report. The Road Development Agency is on site to work on this part of Maguero Road in Chipata District that was washed away last week. The works that commenced immediately the disaster happened are being done while allowing traffic flow. But all things equal, all things equal. Uh, I think we, in the next uh, two to three weeks we should be able to finish this side and move uh, traffic uh, on the other side. But what is uh, comforting is that there will be no interruption of flow of traffic. And we did manage to, to, to restore traffic. We worked all night just to make sure that within 24 hours, you know, uh, traffic flow was restored and uh, people were not uh, inconvenienced. Assure the people that there will be no interruption whatsoever, even as we continue doing our, our, our main activity of installing two more lines of 2.4 by 2.4 Portokalvits. Meanwhile, Chipata Central Constituency Member of Parliament, Motolo Piri, who visited the site, described the disaster as an occurrence that couldn't be avoided. I'm extremely delighted with what I'm seeing here. This is what you call a temporal setback, and it should be corrected. These are natural issues which we should learn to live with in these modern times of unpredictable weather patterns. The Maguero Road has not been worked on with the constituency development fund or with the council funds. This road was worked on from national resources, head office resources. The Ministry of Infrastructure supported us after we made a plea Abigail Kashweka reporting in Chipata District. The Ministry of Community Development and Social Services has continued to empower the less privileged and vulnerable households across the country. Chitalu Tembo reports that many beneficiaries have been selected and captured on various programs. Here's a report. Widowed at a young age, 
Aline SP was left in a grass thatch house to take care of herself and her four children. Years later, through prudent utilization of the funding received as a social cash transfer beneficiary, 77-year-old Aline has grown her business as a marketeer and built two homes for herself and her children. So, so, Pano, Nezo Boutica, Kubutica, Mirango, and Sia Pazuva, Padiananda. So, Van and Nezana Cabuinja, Yamine, Nanda, and Carapo, and the Cabuinja Caton, to Kinezo Zula Namunavana. So, Lumba Shosho, pay and Bagunitandiza. The Rama is a Shosho, Yenipa Saplano. In the Rama and Fayam Bagunitandiza, Lumba Neo, Cuzingo, Cunizing. The Ministry of Community Development and Social Services has no limitation to the support initiatives offered to qualifying beneficiaries. We are impressed with the, I think, the level of responsibility that has been exhibited by the beneficiaries. I think what we have been able to see is that uh, the beneficiaries do appreciate their situations and they are trying to uh, improve the situations in their households by making sure that they come up with ways and means of uh, uh, trying to have something sustainable for the household. And Bonfest Shower 58, who is a reformed ex-inmate, has transformed his tailoring skills learned through the ministry's skills training program into a lucrative business. A project to to Arisa Mbilisha wa Gairi, my inmates. So in Arisa Sarapu Terari, Yana Sarapu Terari in Arisa Yako, Arisa Mbika Ko Pa Community Ba, Ko Wa Community Hope Menti, Po Na Ire Mkisa Mbili Lako Terari, after an application, I started graduating and put on a certificate. I decided to go to the Panono. After an application, I was able to get a certificate. So, I was able to get a certificate. 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 Meanwhile, after 15 years of being bedridden, 55-year-old Charles Manda shares his success story as a social cash transfer beneficiary. Kila niyami kila kuboma, baza mene iti tandiza. Mwanga mumoya wangu wa mene napitamo, ya ni tandiza kwa mbili na kuti nipezeke mwanga wa mene nilipano. So niyami kila nso kuti wasa tandiza, wasa, wasa lekele pa mene hapa. Batandiza kwa wanzatu, wa mene nao wali mavuto, mwanga wa mene napitamo. That God is the one who can replenish where they are removing this hope. Government has continued to make available various empowerment programs for would-be beneficiaries across the country. Salutembo for Zanis News in Chipata, Eastern Province. We take another break. More stories when we return. Stay tuned. Kolera upa msongo muka. Kolera wapa msongo wa kuhichisa. Mutu wali na msongo wa kolera, echi kuhichisa nga chikuma na kusaza nawa. Vize wipi mwaichisa mutu, na wipo ya mea mea, nge msoji wa loso. Mubeji, echi kuzia nga chikuma, mujimba, mumu ya kufumisa mea a mujimba. Mubeji nawa, na hase kufa mjuhola li kuminaji wali 12 hours, nge kawe chikumuhana vitumbo ya kumuka wa shiko. Unahase nga chili kuwachi wa kumsongo wa kolera, Kuhichi la mkuna mea kuwa na kuhaka vitumbo na waze alina majilo. Kuhulia yu wakulia na mawoko aze alina majilo, chipwe kuzachisa malonga na jindeho, nijia kukosa na mea majilo akuwa na kuhaka vitumbo. Kuhulia yu wakulia yu wakuwa na kufika wize wana wili kubajiji. Kuhulia yu wakulia wituta wize kawatumbika angakana wako. Kuhulia yu wakulia wize wana kulandula mmikuwa kwa. Na kulia na wami hako na makovu hako na kukosa kanawa. Tunahase nga chiri kulikinga kumusongwa kolera. Teleke numea enu akunwa chipwe kuhaka mwobitumbo vya klorine. Sande nukumawoko enu na sopo chipwe na mea kuhaka vitumbo hanyima ya kuzaisa chimbusho. Zumi senu vya kulia venu shimbu kanda mwobilie. Fuike nuha vya kulia venu vyo sena uchina kuwiwila kubajiji. Kanda kulia vya kulia vya kulanda mwikuwa kwa nduma. Zachi senu chimbusho lua lua sena. Kahaka nda kuzachi sa ndundu, chipwe mapepa andundu hakuya na kulihewa nduma. Mwatela kumwona ngwenu, 
vipi yosena mnaitapo ila mchimbusho chimbusho cha nawa cha tela kupa cha unyoshi kahanawa cha kufika lwa losena mujimbu no bana mnela kuli pakacha nda tatala kuli kangula cha meno ya batu cha ministry of health Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Sunny's News. In other news, government has dispersed 3.2 million kwacha empowerment loans to 23 groups in Mufurila's central constituency. Mufurila District Commissioner Savoy Kabika said the loans demonstrate government's commitment to fostering economic development and creating opportunities for citizens. Details in this report. Mufurila Central Constituency has distributed 3.2 million kwacha in empowerment loans across 23 groups for entrepreneurial activities. The handover led by Mufulira District Commissioner Savoy Kavika, Mufulira Central Member of Parliament Gordon Mwila, and Mufulira Mayor Tanaili Kamanga aims to boost local businesses. We are investing in the potential that lies within each and every one of you. We firmly believe that empowered individuals are key drivers of social and economical change. Mofulira Central Member of Parliament, Gordon Mwila, emphasized the importance of loan repayment, urging beneficiaries to ensure the sustainability of the program and enable more entrepreneurs to benefit from government initiative. This is not the money like a grant where you have sender mwangira na pachani. This money you will be followed. Mofulira Mayor Tanaeli Kamanga emphasized the importance of responsible usage, urging recipients to ensure that the dispersed funds are utilized as intended for the designated entrepreneurial activities. <laughs> The loans, which are part of the 2023 Empowerment Loans for Mufulira Central, demonstrate government's commitment to fostering local economic development. Rachel Chisulo, Zanis Mufulira. In Wapula province, Chief Mibengi of the Ushi people of Mansa district has called for mechanization in the agriculture sector if the country is to increase productivity. Chief Mibengi disclosed that mechanization has enabled him to cultivate 120 hectares of maize this year and that he will consider getting a loan from government to get another tractor and increase the hectareage. Kennedy Chomba now reports. Chief Mibenge of the Ushi people of Mansa district in Wapla province has this farming season cultivated 120 hectares of maize. The chief has also cultivated 8 hectares of soybeans in an achievement that he has attributed to mechanization. The chief has since called on Zambians to heed the presidential directive of taking agriculture as a business. Number four at least because in our Lima, like in a phone under the government at Perea, Arif Makujenda, Mkwa, you're a tractor in Mongela, sir. I said a multiplier. So, as a double son of a badis, you saw a tractor per BOS, Idiad Kawamba. I was very shocked. I'm a planter per BOS. Tell that this is never become a province. To let you go, it's okay. So, fin fin you know, like it's sound the tractor, it sounds like it takes so much. But to me, it's something else. Chief Mibenge has also discovered that Sidiko has engaged him to consider hosting this case few day at his farm. Pastor, Banja Vaine, getting an Ashimero, I can stay in the end of it. So I'm sure 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 I'm then I said, I'm not going to So after two days again, we are going. So we discuss. Finally, then we will agree to say no problem. So in the we can have a on Facebook. It's nice. I from the man as How is it? I should lead by example. Yeah. I should put him Still in Luapula province, the Zambia Center for Communication Project ZCCP Kwatu has called for 
concerted efforts from stakeholders in the fight against gender-based violence in Luapula province. ZCCP Kwatu Deputy Chief of Party Rita Nachizi made the call during a workshop in Chelenge District. Lewis Changwe has more in the following report. Cooperating partners have come on board to supplement government efforts in the fight against gender-based violence. In Luapura province, Zambia Center for Communication Project, ZCCP, Quat with financial support from USAID PEPFA, has since trained various stakeholders on the management of GBV cases. We want to make sure that uh, we see the gender-based violence cases reduce that this project is for the government. They are the custodians of uh, this project. And we just want to supplement the efforts of the government because the government wants to ensure that uh, this vice is uh, reduced. The fight against gender-based violence is a multi-sectoral um, one and we all need to put our efforts together to fight it. For the participants, the workshop came at the right time. Uh, multidisciplinary training will help us to fight against GPT as Quad to coming in, working hand in hand with other stakeholders, I think we can achieve a positive goal. Okay, this program with the Kwatu is really going to help us as a social welfare. For most of the things that we do as social welfare, we work with the community. Nchirenge District Administrative Officer Katerelengwe, who officially closed the workshop, had a word of advice to the participants. This task is for the government. So Kwatu has come to just supplement. So I would like to urge everyone that when Kwatu comes in to supplement what we should do as government, it is not their goal. As key stakeholders in the fight against GBV, as we go back, let's implement whatever we have picked from this capacity building workshop. Lewis Changwe, Zanis Nchelenge, Luapura Province. As we end the news, here are the headlines once again. European Fame donates 1 million United States dollars to Zambia. RDA mends Maguero Road, plus Ushi Chief calls for mechanization in the agriculture sector. That's all we package for you on Zanis News. Remember, cholera is real. Protect yourself and your family.